Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Connie's Cooking Channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day. We're going to make some baked masa choli and it's going to be delicious. It's an Italian style recipe, so I hope you enjoy it. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. So let's take a look at our ingredients that we would need for our masa choli. I'm using masa choli rigatti, garlic powder and onion powder, a little bit of oregano. We have some crushed red peppers we're gonna use along with ground black pepper. I'm using two pounds of the Italian style turkey sausage. Now, some people make theirs with ground beef, some use Italian sausage. It's really up to you. I've used both. I'm gonna try it with turkey sausage today. We're also gonna use one onion, one bell pepper, couple cloves of garlic. So for the cheese, we're gonna use the Italian style and the mozzarella and not smoked provolone cheese, along with the Italian sausage from Hunt's and also the garlic and herb. Now, the sauces actually come in different flavors. So you can get like um, the four cheese and some other ones is out there. You can mix and match this, but because it's an Italian sausage, I wanna stick with Italian sausage. And of course, I'm gonna use some garlic to bring in all of those seasonings. So without further ado, let's get this party started. So the first thing we wanna do is get a pot of water for our noodles. I have a habit of putting some oil into my water. That will prevent the noodles from sticking, ladies and gentlemen. And then to speed up the process of the water to boil faster, I'm gonna add in some salt. And put that on the high temperature and let it come to a boil, and then we'll add our noodles. The next step is to cut up your onion, bell peppers, and your garlic cloves. Dice them very small, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And now we're ready to start our meat. So I'm gonna open up these two packs of our Italian style turkey sausage. Give me one second. Remember our goal is to eat a little healthier, right? Squeeze out our turkey. So I don't know how long it's gonna take this turkey sausage to get done, but it is turning slowly. I do have the fire on number five. I'm just gonna let it do what it's doing. Definitely wanna get it cooked. I'm trying to keep chopping it up. Masa choli is basically an easier way to do lasagna. But you make it pretty much the same way, ladies and gentlemen. We definitely have to chop up these big pieces. <laughs> Now, I didn't add any grease to the bottom of this pan because this is making its own quote unquote juices. See that? So you don't need to add any oil to this. So once it's finished cooking, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna add in our vegetables. I'll see you back shortly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I drained the liquid off of our sausage. I'm gonna turn the temperature down on low. And I'm gonna add in our vegetables. This is gonna give us some flavor. Can't go wrong with this, y'all. Onions and bell peppers and garlic. Works all the time, hand in hand. <laughs> Stir that in together. And we're just going to let these vegetables saute. Let them get soft before we put them into the oven with our mixture. 
Meanwhile, our noodles are almost done. I'm going to drain the noodles into a strainer. So we're just gonna let that sit just like that, ladies and gentlemen, let it cook on through. We're gonna add in our seasonings right now as well. We we'll come back and taste it. I'm adding some garlic, some more garlic powder. Adding some. Actually, instead of using the onion powder, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to use onion salt. I need some type of salt in there. Just some salt, okay? <laughs> adding our oregano. And this is optional. I love my crushed red peppers, y'all. So I'm gonna use some crushed red peppers in this. I have to open another one. So give me, a, this may be enough for this. Let me see. Yeah, that's enough. I use that that's in there. And then we'll taste it, see if I need more. All right, let's give that a stir. This smells good, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so let's turn this back up to number three and let this do its thing. Let all those seasoning get into this meat. Now we need to do is add our sauce. So what I'm gonna do, I'm transfer everything into this pot here. Cause I need to add my sauce and this frying pan is not as large as I wanted it to be. I drained the noodles. I have them running in cold water so they won't cook any longer. I rinsed that pot out I had the noodles in and I transferred my meat into this pot here because now we're ready to add in our sauce. And believe it or not, we're almost done. <laughs> I normally use two cans. If you only want to use one, that's fine. but. We have a lot of noodles, so I would definitely suggest two, if not two and a half. It's really up to you. So this is the Italian sausage, and I just poured in the garlic and herbs. It's going to give it a nice flavor, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you. And we're just going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes before it goes into the oven. So after the 30 minutes, I'll come back and we'll put it into the oven. Don't forget to set your oven at 350. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, transfer the meat over into this pot. I added the two cans of pasta. And also after I tasted it, I added a little bit of salt and Italian seasoning to bring in that Italian taste because once we add the noodles, they're gonna be unseasoned, but don't forget your cheese is gonna have a lot of salt in it. So you don't wanna over salt it, okay? And once this simmers for about another 15 minutes, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna mix it all up together and put it into the oven. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's been 30 minutes. Let's take a peek at this. Yes, all of those seasonings are in there. It smells so good in this kitchen, y'all. <laughs> Let's grab our noodles that's been sitting in cold water. Now I poured a whole package of noodles in there, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to give that a stir. <laughs> now, if you want to eat it like this, you may eat it like this. <laughs> It's almost like making spaghetti, right? We're gonna blend this in very well. Now, once we have everything blended in as such, it's gonna give you a little bit of liquid over there. So you're fine. You see a little sauce throughout. 
that means you have enough in there, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all want a bite before we put it in the oven? <laughs> there you go. Y'all get a bite? Let me sample it for us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's on the money, y'all. Let me get the baking dish. It's going in the oven. I'm going to give it one more final stir. Now I'm just going to pour it in there. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I know me. I got to get the bottom. <laughs> We're just going to spread that out into our nice casserole pan. Now, this casserole dish is not as big deep as my others, but it's longer than my other pans that I normally use. We're gonna let this bake in the oven about 20 to 25 minutes, and then we'll come back and we're gonna to top it with cheese. See you back shortly. And there we are. Normally what I would do is cover this and let it cook in the oven. I opted not to do that today. And our mozzarella first. You can use as little or as much cheese as you like, ladies and gentlemen, it's really up to you. Yeah, I know me, I love cheese, so the cheesier the better. <laughs> Does that not look delicious? I cannot wait till this comes out of the oven for us to plate it up and sample it, ladies and gentlemen. See you back in about five minutes, okay? Look at this, y'all. <laughs> Is that beautiful? Look how beautiful that looks. That is our baked masa chili. But does this not look good? Y'all go ahead and like the video. Share the video with your friends and family. Share, 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 share. We're almost to our next milestone of 5,500 subscribers and we can do it, ladies and gentlemen. Leave your comment or a question below. I will respond within 24 hours. And if you have not done so already, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified on my next video upload. So normally what I like to do is just wait for about 15 minutes and let this settle and then I cut into it. So I'll see you back shortly. Well, thank you for waiting, ladies and gentlemen, while our master choli settle. <sighs> Added some parsley on the top just for decoration. I almost like cutting a piece of cake. I'm gonna get this corner because I am a corner lover. <laughs> that corner right there is what I want. Oh, this is good, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm gonna have to get my other pieces down here. <laughs> Scoop it on up. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? That is our baked masa chili. I wanna let y'all see inside the pan too. Let's get a bite of this right quick though. Look at that cheese, y'all. Of course, y'all wanted to use any type of cheese y'all made, but I like either provolone or mozzarella with my dish. 
And I'm excited about using the turkey sausage because I've never used it before, but it tastes just fine, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all need to try this masacholi this weekend. <laughs> it's a very easy recipe to do. It doesn't take a whole lot of ingredients. And I think it's inexpensive. So y'all try this meal. Y'all let me know in comments below how it turned out for you. I'm going to zoom in so you actually see the inside. I see the inside of that. I'm going to try to spin it around for you. It's just a little sauce in there. Not much. So you can actually see the beginning and the ending result. That's how it look. The more it's settled, the more it will stick together when you lift it out of here like a pan of lasagna. So thank you again for watching. God bless you. And I will see you in the next video. Y'all have a wonderful evening.